And what's up guys, PK Sparks, the pinnacle of Mario P's here, and welcome back to my series, Dead Hot Top 5. Continuing on with this week's theme of Mario Kart 8, I am going to be delivering to you guys my top 5 courses I can't wait to race on in Mario Kart 8. These courses are going to be only the new ones, and later on I'm going to list my top 5 retro tracks I can't wait to race on in Mario Kart 8. Please remember, my top 5 is 100% opinionated, which means that if you guys do not agree with it, then like I just said, let me know what your top 5 new tracks are in Mario Kart 8 in the comment section below. There will be a video later on detailing the retro tracks of Mario Kart 8. I say again, there will be another video detailing the retro tracks of Mario Kart 8. I guarantee you there's going to be at least one comment of somebody asking, why didn't you count the retro tracks? I'm trying to make it simple. But in any case, if you guys haven't already, go subscribe to my show for Mario Kart 8. Links in the description below. Make sure you guys stick around because at 10 p.m. on Thursday, May 29th, we were having a Mario Kart 8 launch party live stream. And then at midnight, we are going immediately online with Mario Kart 8. You guys do not want to miss it. Links and all that is in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into my top five. Coming in at number 5 of new courses I can't wait to race on in Mario Kart 8, Cloud Top Cruise. It appears in the Special Cup and it is the first track in the Special Cup. The inspiration for Cloud Top Cruise comes from two different stages of the widely acclaimed series Super Mario Galaxy. Gusty, Glo Gusty Garden from Super Mario Galaxy 1 and Sky Station Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 2. Now what I like most about this stage is the fact that it's not only just open ended because you guys see that right here it's like a whole beanstalk type of area, but then it transitions into like a dark airship type area where it seems as though you're in the clouds, lightning bolts are striking the boost panels, boost pedal that lays on the track, and it's a really decent and unique stage that I can't wait to really decipher. From gameplay I've seen online, there are two shortcuts in um, cloud, cloud Top Cloudway. What is it? Cloud Top Cruise, I apologize. Cloud Top Cruise. There are two shortcuts in Cloud Top Cruise, and I'm not going to detail where they are just yet. You guys are going to have to wait till my playthrough of Cloud Top Cruise to see where the shortcuts are. But this day looks like it's going to be really exciting, and I can't wait to tear into it. Cloud Top Number Cruise, number five of my top five list of stages I can't wait to race on in Mario Kart 8. Coming in at number four, my top five list. Sunshine Airport. I love this stage just by the beauty of it. It is a really bright stage and the 1080p definition definitely lends a hand in making this stage really pop as it should. One thing I really do find interesting about Sunshine Airport is that it's pretty much unlike any other stage we've seen before. You are literally driving through the airport. As in, forget pedestrians, I don't care where you're going, get out of my way, I got first place to win. You pretty much drive through the airport and go immediately out of it after the first turn. And then you have a choice here, if you take the upper route, you go through an airplane. And if you take the lower route, you go under an airplane. And it's just such a decent concept just because you have so many different routes in such a small confined area, seemingly confined area, that you can just rock out with. And it's just a lot of turns and just excitement. And then the best part is when you're leaving the airport, when you're on the strip and launching off to use your glider and go off to the anti-gravity anti panel, you, there's an airplane that flies behind you. An airplane launches off behind you and it's just such a cool feeling just to see that happen. And then you actually go, you fly off the airplane at airport, excuse me, the runway. You fly off the runway. I don't even know, I'm so excited, I can't even get the words right. But you go off the runway and then you make a 180 and go back and back onto the runway and go back into the airport and do it over again. Just the way it looks and then as a few friends of mine would have um, noticed, the water looks freaking beautiful. The colors is beautiful. It's just a really fun and bright stage and I am just glad that Air Sunshine Airport is a thing. The, thing. the one thing about Sunshine Airport is that it's actually a stage that spoiled a few of the upcoming tracks before they were actually revealed, such as Yoshi Valley. So, that's a little fun fact for you guys. But anyway, Sunshine Airport, number four of stages I can't wait to race on in Mario Kart 8. Number three, Electrodrome. This stage, so exciting. It is a stage that debuts in the Star Cup. It is the third track in the Star Cup. The theme of it is being in a neon lit nightclub. How often are you in a nightclub in the Mario series? Yes, you're a few in the RPGs, but let's be real here. How often are you in a nightclub? 
Electrodrome is such a powerful stage. Just the concept of it is just amazing. The colors, the anti-gravity panels that is just there, all of it, is, it just lends to a really unique experience. I was lucky enough to play this stage during the Mario Kart 8 demo at GameStop, and let me tell you, powerful. Powerful. I don't know, I, I don't know how many times I'm going to play on this stage. When I go online, I guarantee you this is going to be one of the main stages I pick on. I pick constantly, constantly, to the point where everybody who's watching my live streams gets bored. But I don't care. We're going to destroy this game. I cannot wait. Cannot wait for Electro Drone. We move on to number two. One of the stages themes that I look forward to in every single Mario Kart, Bowser's Castle. It debuts in the Special Cup, and it is the third track in the Special Cup. What I like most about it is that it is themed at the Bowser's Castle in Super Mario 3D World. Why am I so excited about this? Have you guys seen Bowser's Castle in Super Mario 3D World? That thing had neon lights. It looks like the new the NBC Peacock was at the top. It is bright, it is powerful, it is sleek, it is dangerous. There is lava around every corner. It is dangerous, and Bowser's Castle makes it... No, it doesn't fail in that regard. So powerful. The best thing about this stage, there's a giant statue of Bowser in the middle of the race, of the track, where he punches the road. He tries to punch you. It is a giant Bowser statue, powered by lava, wanting to smash its flaming fists upside your head and crush the cart that you ride on. Seriously, if that's not an aesthetic feature that's just powerful, I don't know what is. How many castles does Bowser even have? Whoever his interior decorator is, I need their number. And I mean now. Now I hate to be that guy. I really hate to be that guy when it comes to top fives and being predictable. But you know what? The stage that I can't wait to race on the most out of all 16 new tracks they debuted in the Mushroom Cup, the Flower Cup, the Star Cup, and the Special Cup, Rainbow Road. This stage, have you seen its premise? You are in a giant satellite this time. The Mario Kart TV satellite. And you are driving around the bends. There are curves after curves after curves. And of course, this game takes advantage of the anti-gravity feature, especially on Rainbow Road, especially when you're in space. Are you serious? It just looks so beautiful. The colors, the atmosphere, and have you guys heard that orchestrated music representing Rainbow Road and Mario Kart 8? Oh my god! It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Now, I don't, I just, I, I don't know. I don't know how much I'm going to like it. I just know I'm going to be playing it over and over and over again. And by the time I can really get my hands on it for the first time, you guys don't want to miss it. So make sure you guys stay tuned to my playthrough, which will be beginning this Friday. But with that done, that is going to wrap up the second edition of Dead Hot Top 5s. As I said, this top 5 was 100% opinionated, which means that if you have a different top 5 of the new courses in Mario Kart 8, that you guys want to let me know in the comment section below, go on and do so. Let's all respect each other's opinion and just have a fun time together. Woo! Otherwise, I want to thank you all for watching. Stay tuned to the series. Go ahead and hit that like button. Like I said before, your support of the series is definitely going to continue this series for a long time to come. And make sure you don't miss the launch of Mario Kart 8 on this channel for the pinnacle of Mario Kart 8 gameplay right here on Die Hotness. Thank you all for watching. Stay hot, guys, and I'll see y'all next time.